my beloved brother Chika. All the directors of nursing services here present, Ministry of Health, Hospitals Management, Board PTH, uh, our former chairperson of NAM, River State. She was like our role model. We were looking at her from far. Even though at that time she didn't notice us, Mrs. Sachinewo, uh, the chairman of traditional rulers council, ably represented by our chief, the chairman of my constituency, I recognize you, Comrade Rebi, my sister, chairman of medical and health, and so many people I will have recognized, but you permit me to stand on existing protocol. I bring one greeting from the national president of NAM. He will have personally been here, but he had traveled out to Geneva on official duties. I, I want to congratulate all of us for being part of this year's celebration in River State. And to also give us a few information about what MAM is doing at the national level. I want to inform that uh, we took over the mantle of leadership with so many challenges. The paramount challenge at that time was the issue of NAM vis-a-vis -vis uh, federal health institution. And because there must be peace and unity within the profession, we have lost so many things fighting ourselves. We sat and we decided that we must come together. And by the special grace of God, this administration, we went around almost all the federal health institutions in the country. And by God's grace, I want to say that we are together now. Amen. I also want to inform us that another big challenge is microphone. Hello? I want to also inform us that we have another big challenge, that is the scheme of service vis-a-vis -vis the wages of nurses in the country. You can recall that there was a circular issued by the Federal Ministry of Salaries, Income and Wages Commission early this year, increasing the wages of doctors and other health professionals were just left behind. I want to inform that we are on top of the matter. Several committees are in place looking at that issue. And we have also made our position, especially at this point that we have Ebola virus disease. And nurses are also involved in the care. The hazard allowance we have been given is nothing to compare with what we are supposed to have. And so I want to inform us that actually we are doing a lot concerning that, and very soon we will get our new salary structure. Yeah. 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 On the issue of scheme of service, please. The president said, I should plead with all the nurses in this gathering that we need to be united in order to get to the root of the issue of scheme of service. We have been having challenges and we have been petitioning ourselves. And I feel as we should inform ourselves that there is no need fighting ourselves because the challenges we have in the health sector is more for us to look at. We have problems within the sector, we have issues with government, and all sorts of things. Our working environment is something else. Just as you have said, most of the hospitals are not, they are not in good condition. If you go to other states, it's the same problem. And we need to work as a united front to fight some of these challenges. We are on the issue of scheme of service currently, and we see a lot of petitions here and there. Please, what NAM is conversing for is unified scheme of service. Yes. The unified scheme of service we have proposed there is an entry point for the hospital-based trained nurses. Because we have just two training points in, 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 as a country, hospital-based or university-based. And we have entry points for those of us that are coming in as university graduates. If you are a, gra a graduate of uh, schools of nursing, you come in on your normal GL-7. Uh, and because the IAP award has given 
not that grant. The next year, you automatically will be upgraded to grade level 8. The provision is still there for us. While the nurse that have gone through the university will come into service, our proposal is on grade level 10 because that is what is applicable for other graduate health professionals. Now, if you are a graduate of the university, as you come in through your internship, you are on grade level 9, you can translate it to comments. The conversion table is there. And that is what we are proposing, but there are a lot of misunderstanding. If somebody has gone through the school of nursing, come into service of grade level 7, after a year you move to grade level 8, then you have to do another 3 years to get to grade level 9, another 3 years to get to grade level 10. That is the point, you must have stayed 6 years in service before you get to that grade level 10. All these things have been considered. But what we are saying is that nursing is a profession that can be likened to all other professions in the country. You look at ICANN for the accountants or ANA. Once you sit for that professional exams, you can get to the peak of your profession. That is what we are looking at. If you are a severe, when you do that professional exams, you get to the peak of your profession. And so on and so forth. But the entry point differs. And all of these things, we have to involve consultants to work with us. So that we can be properly guided. We cannot say we do not have challenges. Ch challenges are there. Those are the problems of nursing. An ability to diagnose them and manage them will take us to the next level. And we are the ones that will diagnose it. We are the ones that will manage it. But it must be a joint effort. Nobody can do it alone. Without your support, the National Administrative Council cannot translate this on paper. And so we need your support and cooperation. And I said to Ross, most of us are graduate nurses today. And NAM is NAM of the graduate and the non-graduate nurses. And so we should not divide ourselves. Please, we are pleading from the end of the National Administrative Council. We do not want that division so that we can flow. If we speak with one voice, we can achieve. The scheme of service, we want to believe that if we are able to achieve what we have in mind, it will bring it will bring peace and nurses will be motivated because most nurses are working and they are demoralized. But we need to wake up. And above all, if you must advance as a profession, education is also key. Do not say it is only hiring you will have because before you can even move to the peak, there are specialization you must go for. It is stipulated there. You have to. Every step you make, there are things you must add. There are things you must get and so on and so forth. So it is not an issue of RN getting up to grade level 17. Please, we should take note. But above all, it is our own advice to all the nurses that the world is moving. The student nurses came and sang. They said, we must change and we need a change. And the change is now. The change is now. If you ask us, as many schools of nursing that can be affiliated, assimilated, or whatever name you call it, they should go and be assimilated to universities. That is the best thing for us as a profession. It is the best for us as a profession. Because if you go into school of nursing today, your entry requirement is the same as that requirement you go in, into the university with. At the tail end, you still do the same exams. But the knowledge differs. If you get into the university, if you, they take anatomy, they have access to cadaver and all sorts of things. But we too, we should try. We are working even with the council to update our curriculum. So there are a lot of things we are doing on that and it is good for us to be informed. I also want to talk about uh, the Dressy struggle in most of the states because we've had nurses that are telling now to pull out of joint health sector union. Great nurses. Please, I don't intend to take your time, but we'll just be brief. Association 
in the health industry that have come together under the Joint Health Sector Union to fight the challenges of health, other health professionals. Because we realize that most of the times, the doctors will go, they will take their decisions, and they will get all these things implemented for themselves, leaving or sometimes giving us peanuts. And so the Joint Health Sector Union, they have come together and a lot of discussions are going on, including the issue of consultancy. Because if a nurse has PhD in nursing, I don't see why that nurse should not be paid consultancy. <laughs> and again, in our salary structure, there is provision for consultancy. And so, and if, if, you, if you have your, if you are specialized, you have the prerequisite qualification, we, what we are conversing for is that nurses should benefit from all of these processes. So in any state where you have joint health, health sector union, we encourage the chairperson of NAM to be actively involved because there are so many things we are doing in common. However, uh, the issue of uh, uh, okay, the issue of government, you know, having a committee on Ebola without nurses, we are not too comfortable with it. Hello, I don't know whether we have representative of the government here. Because why we are not too comfortable with it is the fact that if one or two nurses are there, they will be able to tell the story of nurses as it concerns the care of these patients. I want to say that there is a difference, and you know, between medical care and the nursing care. But they are interwoven and there is a meeting point. And so, on behalf of NAM, I will seriously want the government to look at it and involve nurses in that committee. Because when, the, when you talk about barrier nursing, it is a nurse that can tell you what barrier nursing is. A non-professional will not understand what we are saying. And government, I don't know who is representing government here. Yeah? Okay, please, as a message to the person, let them take note that we are, we are, we are, we are supposed to be part of that committee. However, I, will, I think I would like to wrap up here to say that uh, we wish you well in your celebration. We are with you in spirit. We are with you at all times. And this administration, according to Mr. President, he said, doses of Nigeria should always pray. Let us be praying for us to succeed. Because our, we, are, we are very anxious to take nothing to the next level. Thank you for listening to me. Oh, no.